So let's go ahead and look at the last clip, uh, which is by far the worst of Doug Jones in this interview. And there's, there's a couple things that we know that do not work. We can look and see what doesn't work. And frankly, one of them is blaming this on mental health. That just doesn't work because we blame that for a long time. The second thing is we've given a lot of thoughts and prayers over the years for these victims and families, and it ain't working. As, as, as a religious a nation as we are, as a Christian nation and state as we are, those thoughts and prayers just don't seem to be working like they should. So we need to get down and do our, our work. The Lord can take care of his business if we can do ours. Yeah, you know who else said that? You know who else was like, oh, pff, clearly, prayer's not working. The Jewish elders that murdered Christ. Now, I'm not saying that Doug Jones saying this is the equivalent to that. Don't get me wrong or take me out of context. But that's the same argument. The argument that he's making there is, well, clearly, we're not having no mass shootings. The mass shootings haven't been reduced to zero, so clearly... It's not working. That was never the purpose of the prayers in the first place. In the same way that the Jewish elders, when they were looking upon Christ, said, oh, well, if he's really the Son of God, just have him ask God to bring him down off the cross. See, he's not really the Son of God. You're missing the point, just like they were. You're missing the purpose of prayer. When somebody says, sees one of these horrific events, and says their thoughts and prayers go out to them and, and actually follow up on it and pray, they're not praying for no mass shootings to ever occur. They're not praying for all bad things to be prevented. That would be like saying, well, I prayed for you to be cured of cancer last night, and the doctors say you've still got cancer, so obviously the thoughts and prayers aren't working. That's not the way that prayer works. You don't get an instantaneous answer, and you don't always get the answer that you want. I mean, Jesus Christ himself had a prayer request that was not answered the way that he wanted it to be. He has to be spared the pain of the cross, and God said to him, no. Even though he was perfect, even though he had done everything that he asked. So what's going on here is not that the thoughts and prayers aren't working. Because that's what Doug Jones is saying. He's like, you know what doesn't work? Thoughts and prayers. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to comfort the family. The purpose is to get through these events, not to prevent them from happening. That's not what people are praying about. I mean, I pray that we don't see as many of these events, sure, but I don't think that God is going to magically stop all bad people from doing bad things or hurting other people. I mean, if he wanted to do it, he could, but... He's had about 6,000 plus years of human history to do it and hasn't done it yet, so I'm pretty sure he's not going to do that. And there's scripture to back that up as well. You're completely missing the point of thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers were never intended to be a solution to mass shootings. They're intended to comfort the family and help them to look to God for guidance and strength and to be with us as a nation and how we react to it. And the worst possible reaction is to defy God based on that. To defy the inalienable right of self-defense that God instilled in all human beings, that he intended for all people, which again is backed up by Scripture. That's the worst thing that you can do. In the same way that seeing somebody that says some, something that you disagree with, the worst thing that you could do is trample upon their God-given freedoms of free speech. Even if it's something that blasphemes against God, you still don't take away their God-given rights just to prove a point. And that's what is being proposed here. Doug Jones just standing up in front of people saying, you know what, your prayers don't matter. It is such an arrogant, hedonistic way to talk about a sincerely issued prayer. If we want to turn this around, if we do want to do something that actually might prevent future mass shootings, prayer is the thing that we're missing the most. 
if we teach people to pray and think, in other words, use their reason, use their logic, not allow their emotions to govern their life, and first and foremost, more important than that, that they are a creation of an almighty father that loves them and thinks of them as important and thinks of their fellow man as important, that's what's going to stop future mass shootings. Probably not going to stop all of them. I mean, people have been doing evil since the beginning of time, and they're going to continue to do it. But if you want to look at a solution that might actually work, that might actually make this less a less common event, teach people to think and pray. That will be the way to move forward. That will be the way that we teach people to move away from thinking about only themselves and being bundled up in this essentially a cocoon of darkness where they believe that people's lives don't matter and therefore it's okay to shoot them. Teach them a respect for human life that only comes from believing that you are a creation of a unique creator and that everybody else is too and that everybody's life matters to him. That's going to be something that actually changes this. Doug Jones' snide remarks and policy proposals aren't going to do that. And he's welcome to come on this program anytime and prove me wrong. You have a standing invitation, Senator Jones. Anytime you want to be on this microphone, I'll be happy to meet with you. I think that, if anything, this shows that abortion Jones knows about as much about prayer as I do about nuclear physics. Which is pretty much nothing. <laughs> Normally, this is the part of the video where you would expect me to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel, but the truth is, I don't really care whether you do or not. In fact, you know what? Don't subscribe. It's not like there's a lot of really important stuff going on in the world in the state of Alabama that you should probably be aware of. So, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Or don't. I don't really care. Reverse psychology. Boom.